Mike, the nutrition man here today, and we're going to talk about a little bit about calcium. Uh, I'm a nutritional consultant. A lot of people, uh, when I do nutritional consulting, ask me if they can bring in all their supplements and have, <laughs> have lay them out on a table and go over all their supplements and review and see if they're taking too many, not enough, uh, if they're overlapping, if they're wasting money, if, are these the best forms of supplements to take? Usually start with their multivitamin. Right after that, we go into their calcium, which is what we're talking about today. I notice a very high percentage of these people uh, are buying these uh, coated <laughs> calcium tablets that you find in drug stores, discount stores, even supermarkets. They're the ones, I'm not mentioning names, they're the one <laughs> that ones mentioned on national advertising on uh, television. Most people know that what they are. And I, I always turn the bottle over and look at the uh, ingredients, and I see calcium and vitamin D3. And that's right there is where I usually tell them that I, I, I don't recommend a product like that. I usually recommend, especially for, for bones and for other reasons, I, I'll go into that. I usually recommend a product that contains at least calcium, vitamin D3, and magnesium. Magnesium is the real sticking point with a product like that. Now, why magnesium? Why do I think that magnesium will be in there? For, well, for one thing, a high percentage of these people that take those partic that particular form of calcium happen to complain to me that that type of calcium is very binding. In other words, it's constipating. Well, mag <laughs> magnesium happens to be a natural stool softener. It allows, not a stimulant laxative, but a stool softener. It allows water to go into the colon. and makes it e easier to go. And so here they have a calcium that's very binding, and you have magnesium, which is a natural stool softener. What a happy little marriage that makes, a uh, constipator and a stool softener. That, that, <laughs> that's reason enough right there to want magnesium in your calcium supplement. Also, ca uh, magnesium keeps calcium out of soft tissues. A lot of people get kidney, kidney stones. Uh, doctors look at this particular type of stone, if it's a calcium stone, they say no dairy, it's knock off the calcium supplements, but the calcium and, and, and magnesium would actually benefit them. There are actually studies coming out of Europe and that repeated in the U.S. that show that magnesium and I believe vitamin B6, those two will prevent the reoccurrence of kidney stones by up to 70%. So magnesium should be in the calcium. There's another reason magnesium needs to be in there. Now. Another reason I think magnesium needs to be in there is, aren't we getting enough magnesium in our diet or our multivitamin? Well, no, there are studies actually out of Yale University that show the average American person is getting around 212 milligrams of magnesium per day. Now, what does that mean? Well, the U.S. recommended daily allowance for magnesium happens to be about 400 milligrams. So, um, they're, they're getting about half of what they should get in, in their uh, supplements. Um, cardiovascular prevention is, impo is an important um, feature of magnesium supplementation and real cardio prevention begins at around 350 milligrams per day. Okay, 350, the average American is getting 212. 350 milligrams starts with some real cardio protection and for every uh, 10 milligram increase over the 350, there's a 12% reduction in cardiovascular disease. Okay, for every 10 milligrams beyond 350, 12% reduction. That tops out at around 450 or 475 milligrams gives you optimal cardio protection by adding magnesium. Okay, um, some of the other uh, calcium, magnesium, when they're together, benefits are for insomnia. A lot of people come in complaining about insomnia. If you suffer from insomnia and you're not taking a calcium magnesium supplement, that should be your base nutrition. That should be taken at each meal. Calcium and magnesium should be divided up among your three meals. Make sure you get a good share of that with your evening meal. That'll help with insomnia. Also anxiety disorder. It's a natural relaxant and calms a person down, calcium, magnesium. So anxiety disorder, that's one of the first things I'll mention. It's base nutrition. You've got their essential minerals. You have to have them anyway. And as I mentioned, kidney stones, PMS. <laughs> How's that one? PMS is uh, studies out of San Diego State University, I think, <coughs> on PMS when they 
received 1,500 milligrams of calcium and 1,000 milligrams of magnesium, there was a 40% reduction in the symptoms of PMS. Well, that was probably going to send a lot of husbands and boyfriends <laughs> running to the store to buy calcium and magnesium just on that study, just kidding around, okay? Uh, at that point, I'd like to introduce this product, OsteoProCare. OsteoProCare, this is a good tasting vanilla creamy liquid flavored calcium. I happened upon this and here we are again. We have a, a, a liquid which I think is going to be a superior form of absorption versus as we mentioned those hard tablets without magnesium. And I noticed this particular calcium has magnesium and several other minerals needed to build bone. But I noticed while well, looking at the form of calcium, this particular product, I've never seen this in a liquid calcium, contains calcium orotate. Now orotate is, comes from adding erotic, erotic acid to uh, mineral calcium. And that form is hard to find. I've seen it, I've seen it in tablets and capsules, and that's hard to find in itself. I've never seen it in a liquid, which is going to make it absorb even better. But the orotate form of calcium, the calcium is going to penetrate the cell wall better than probably any other form of calcium that you can find because of this erotic acid penetrates the cell wall before the calcium ionizes and is used. So that is a superior and hard to find form, superior form of calcium. I also noticed this uh, formula contains a trace mineral called boron. Boron. Uh, what is boron would be extremely, it's a trace element. Uh, in regions of the U.S. where we get a lot of rain, it's not found in the soil. It is in some of the foods like apples and certain nuts and certain whole grains. Uh, boron be particularly important for someone with osteopenia, osteoporosis. Uh, especially beneficial to menopausal women to prevent osteoporosis. Boron keeps the calcium in the bone. That's what boron uh, keeps the calcium in the bone. They have very good studies on that. Also good studies on boron and arthritis. You don't need a lot of boron, a couple milligrams a day, but very good studies on, on boron for uh, arthritis. I also noticed this product contains glucosamine. Many of you have heard of that. Many of you with arthritis or joint problems, you go buy glucosamine and chondroitin. I happen to see that those two are in here. They're <laughs> this is a total joint formula, bone building joint formula. Um, all under one roof, all those benefits, all under one roof. Osteo Pro Care, good tasting vanilla, also available in a mint flavor. Liquid Osteo Pro Care, hard calcium tablets. See you next time.